Marketing Automation Ninja. In this episode, we're going to talk about how we can create a catchy introduction and outproduction uh, for your YouTube channel, for your videos uh, that you are going to produce. Um, the very first thing to do is, and to remember, is that our brain can focus only on one thing at a time. So basically, uh, it doesn't, it's not relevant to display some information on the screen, like animation, logo, and, and maybe a, a sentence or a baseline of what you have to offer and to speak in the same time, to have, have some voiceover. So I do recommend to disable voiceover, to do not put any voiceover on uh, videos, uh, I mean, on the, 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 the generic, on the introduction of your video. Uh, know that the introduction might not be on the right beginning because I also like to catch people's attention with what they will get from the the content of the video, exactly like uh, uh, on the, the episode I do on podcast or on on YouTube. I usually introduce what I'm going to talk about. Then there is my introduction and after I go and get into the content. Um, and uh, so, yeah, for the introduction, we put the brand, we put the baseline, um, and I also like to add the the who you are. I mean, the introdu introducing who you are as a as a presenter, as a person who is going to speak. Uh, basically, if you are listening this one on YouTube, you might have seen a little bar coming on the on the left, on the right, sorry, um, with my name and my title, uh, and uh, and uh, yeah, who am I basically, and why I am talking to you today. So I think that's it for the introduction. Keep it short. Five five seconds is the top. Uh, I do not uh, invite you to go over than five seconds. Uh, I think that would be too much, uh, yeah, too much and time consuming for uh, your audience and you might lose them uh, during the generic. Next, the outproduction. So the, the generic, the video generic that we're going to put at the end. Uh, I do invite people to uh, to put a pre-introduction with a subscribe button that appear just before the, 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 the little video animation that we can put at the end. Of course, again, keep it short, uh, straight to the point, the brand, the baseline, uh, and then a call to action. Very, very important, the call to action uh, to uh, invite people not only to subscribe to your channel if it's on YouTube, but maybe to head over to visit your website and letting them know what they can get from their website. So basically, uh, for us at Marketing Automation Ninja, you can test our tool that has automatically introduction and outproduction on videos as well as on podcast episodes. Uh, and you can also check the package we have to offer, by the way, uh, that package where we do for you, we designed for you your introduction template, your outroduction template that we can add automatically to all your videos and all your podcast episodes. So that's a pretty uh, uh, affordable and pretty cheap, by the way, uh, package. Uh, and, uh, and we do that in person through Zoom. Uh, we help you select the right music uh, and to, uh, to put the right baseline and, and to say the right things for the podcast. Uh, and we do the animation for you. Um, that's that's uh, the kickstart that most of people really need uh, in order to move forward with their uh, project, either and both, could be both YouTube or and uh, podcast uh, episode. I hope it helps. Uh, wishing you a great day. Looking forward to maybe to meeting you uh, and to help you to put a, all together your introduction and your outroduction. Until then, if you haven't uh, tried uh, yet, head over marketingautomationninja.com. Wishing you a great day and talk again very soon. Bye for now. Marketing Automation Ninja.